How's it going everybody? Jared back again and today we're going to be taking a look at Windows 8 for Android. This is a launcher and yes, as you can see, it's trying to emulate Windows 8 like on your desktop or your PC, uh, but obviously for Android. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, starting from the top, we'll go ahead and jump into the start menu. As you can see, this is basically your app drawer. Unfortunately, it seems to be not so compatible with at least my display, the Galaxy S3, or perhaps the uh, DPI that I have this ROM set at, which is 320. Uh, so hopefully they'll fix that in maybe the coming updates which do seem to be frequent enough at least anyways and then of course we have all these different tiles we have some predefined tiles we have some empty ones so that you can um, go ahead and select your favorite applications and throw them on there um, no unfortunately you can't expand it this is basically all you get what you see is what you get uh, but they do have some categorizations such as games you know you can toss in up to six different games in the different tiles there and again this is really more for um, you know adding the applications and whatever it may be that you actually use the most and your most most favorite uh, of course you can see social we've got up to six there as well same thing with medias and uh, let's go ahead and scroll on back. And if you did want to add an additional tile on the main screen here, just go ahead and click on it. It'll give you this list of all your applications. Go ahead and select which one you want. And the icon will pop up there, obviously, in the tile. Um, unfortunately, none of the tiles are live. I know a lot of people have been kind of wanting that or asking the developer to add that. It would be nice to see some live tiles going on there. Um, I don't know how he would implement it, but it would be nice to see, especially if... Um, you know, he's trying to emulate Windows 8. Um, click on the background there and we can actually um, choose different backgrounds as you can see. So right now we currently have green. Let's go ahead and select a lime green. And that's what we're looking at there. Uh, you can even select black if you wanted to. And that looks pretty sharp. Um, as far as speed's concerned, this isn't the fastest, at least consistently. Um, right now, it's actually running pretty quick, but I think that's because uh, my processor is revved up enough where it's actually able to handle the frame rates. Um, however, a little bit earlier when I was testing it out, it seemed a little bit stuttery, a little bit disappointing, especially considering how absolutely simplistic this is. Um, clicking back to the main me or to the menu button there again, we really don't have many um, options there. The last option that you actually do have is manage tiles, and you can remove specific tiles but not all of them which I found um, really kind of irritating and strange I don't understand why you can just remove certain tiles and not others uh, maybe there's some other logic that seems to be escaping me but um, it is what it is uh, hopefully I mean and this is a pretty fresh launcher so um, I'm, I'm guessing that with as updates come down um, we'll probably see some improvements there and uh, of course just hitting settings will just jump you into your devices settings Anyways, guys, uh, this application is $1.95 in the Play Store. It's got a rating of about three and a half. So obviously it's not the best out there, but it's kind of an interesting experience. Definitely something worth trying out if you are interested in, uh, you know, theming your phone to look like uh, Windows 8. Uh, but that's it for now, guys. I'll be posting a link in the description below. Thank you very, very much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, shoot me some love by hitting that likes button down below. And you may want to consider subscribing for more videos like this in the future. We do have videos five days a week with the exception of yesterday. That's a long story. <laughs> Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.